when you imagine technological takeover or global domination through technology, you picture companies like Facebook, Google, Amazon, or even Microsoft watching our every movement through the data they collect on a daily basis. However, from across the ocean, one company has been dominating the entirety of the Asian region and ranks as one of the largest companies in the world. They are the number one game developer, number one payment platform, number one e-commerce, and number one social network, and dominate everything there, from who you talk to to how you eat. Just how did a tiny social messenger grow to dominate the Eastern world? This is Engineering Plus, and let's find out. In 1998, the company Tencent was founded by a group of five men named Ma Hua Tang, Zheng Zhidong, Zhu Zhenye, Chen Yi Dan, and Zhang Li King and funded by a group of venture capitalists. Their one and only product was a messaging software by the name of OICQ, which was essentially a Chinese ripoff of AOL Messenger. It was immensely popular in China and grew to become an icon at the dawn of the 21st century. Despite this, Tencent was unprofitable for the first three years of its life and was almost dying until a South African media company by the name of Naspers purchased 46.5% in the company in 2001. The company continued to limp by on advertising revenue and subscriptions of premium users of their product. It attempted to generate more revenue by licensing its penguin icon to snack foods and adding more microtransactions in its video games. It was around 2007 to 2008 where it began rapidly licensing American games for sale in China such as Crossfire, a Counter-Strike ripoff, and Dungeon Fighter Online, a Diablo ripoff. What made Tencent the giant it is today is arguably a result of its genius investment in Riot Games in 2011, buying 92.78% of the game developer. If you don't know, League of Legends is quite literally the most played game ever in the world and is the most profitable game ever as well. It continued to invest in other game developers. Tencent now begins investing deeply in e-commerce to compete with the Amazon copycat Alibaba. It buys rights to release HBO movies in China. At this point, Tencent is making a fortune from its investments in video games and is about to begin its second major transformation and first step into the societal domination in China. Now enter stage two of Tencent's development. Tencent becomes China's first online bank. Remember, Tencent's little unprofitable ripoff of AOL OICQ, it's now WeChat and it's dominating the market in China, also becoming one of the number one news platforms with over 770 millions of users and creates a copy of Steam as well while already having more users thanks to it being in China and it even creates its own esports theme park. So over the growth of WeChat we can see a pattern. It ruthlessly copies US companies while protected by the protectionism of the Chinese government and then uses this money to aggressively invest in Western companies. When you look closely, you see a company quite literally dominating an industry with its hands in every single pot building its own towns for its own content. Hope you learned something new. This is Engineering Plus, and be sure to subscribe.